if you choose to uh, play multiple media files, you can uh, choose uh, many different, up to about 1,200 different uh, videos, music files, MPEGs, WMVs, uh, and things of this nature. Um, a word of caution, the screensaver will play uh, high definition or, or relatively sharp definition uh, MP4 videos. Uh, videos ending with the .mp4 file extension. It'll also play .mov uh, video extensions. These are QuickTime video extensions and uh, Media Player uh, will play them which is like I said is the core uh, of this screensaver. The, the screensaver uses the, the control that Windows Media Player 11 uses and um, it it's not real finicky most of the time but it is rather finicky about MOV files and MP4 files. If you're playing MP4 files or .MOV files which like I said are QuickTime uh, movie which is Apple format um, sometimes the screensaver will hang and a lot of times you'll see your taskbar come up and the screensaver will just will just hang because if you're using multiple monitors, um, MP4s and MOV videos don't like to be opened by more than one program at one time. So if it ever happens to you, the screen server will hang, and the best way to get out of it is to hold down the control key and hold down the alt key at the same time and strike the delete key. When you hold down the control alt delete on Windows 7, you'll see this list. You'll choose Start Task Manager. And I'm going to have to go over here to get this window off this other monitor. And when you see the Task Manager, um, right at the moment it only shows screensaver settings. But if it's hung, you'll see the, the icon for the high definition 1080p video screensaver here. And what you would do is you would click that that listing even though it's not showing here you would click that listing and then click this end task button and it will uh, pop up another dialog that says do you want to end it now and you say end it now yes and it'll go away and your your desktop will return that's the only hitch that uh, we have seen with this screensaver is playing video codecs from a different platform such as the Apple platform MOV and MP4 videos Okay, now moving on, we're going to leave this on full screen. We're going to play a single media file. We're going to click on this uh, dialog box, dialog, dialog button here. I'm going to choose repeating single media file. You can either click this button to search your hard drive, and you can start the search, and it'll find, usually it'll, it'll find a lot of files real quick, but we're going to stop the search and uh, we're going to reset and clear this list here and uh, we're going to go to users uh, ramshock software we're going to scroll down to videos and uh, there are divix movies uh, these are some high definition movies that we have taken and we can start the search from this point and it'll find uh, several uh, videos. If you choose any one of these videos, it will uh, uh, like the C anemones and then close and save file name and then you click this OK button and then you preview the screensaver. It'll actually play uh, one of the Screenscapes videos. This is uh, one of my customers, their associates that I work with down in uh, Florida. He makes the Screenscapes videos series and uh, his website is www.screenscapes.tv okay I'm gonna bop out of this for a moment and now we're going to click on the settings button again click on that make it go away click on choose repeating single media file instead of searching our hard drive we're gonna drill to our video files and I've already pre-selected a folder. We got two hard drives on this computer and I've got a bunch of videos on here. I'm going to select this Turner Falls uh, 1 WMV 
and click on open and then click OK and we're going to preview this one. Now this is a video that I shot myself down at Turner Falls, uh, Oklahoma, down on Interstate 35, about the 51 mile marker. One of only two natural waterfalls, well maybe three, that are known in Oklahoma. And this is the most impressive. Now the video I'm watching on this computer is 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 high definition and it looks very good, very clear. Uh, using a screen capture utility like I'm I'm using, uh, this video is is probably going to be grainy and you'll see some waves in it and things of this nature. But but what I'm looking at is high definition. It's it's very very good quality video. I'm going to trip out of the screensaver. Okay, click on the settings button again. And let's change to a smaller video size. We're going to choose the one half screen size here. Uh, the media will float while playing. If you uncheck this, the video will play at some random point on the screen. And it'll play in that position until it reaches the end. And if you're using uh, multiple videos, when the next video starts, it'll pick a random place on the screen to start playing over. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're playing random videos, multiple videos, or playing a single video. Every time that uh, the video starts over with this unchecked, it will uh, start over in a new position. Uh, with, it, with it checked, you can control the speed, and you can turn on the gradient background, which uh, you'll see a gradient background, and the video has a wiping effect that... Uh, also helps to protect your screen by creating variation in the uh, you know the pixels and and the electrons that are uh, being fired on your monitor. So we're going to go ahead and click OK with these selections uh, made, and we're going to preview the screensaver. And you should see a <coughs> blue gradient background. You probably see the mouse cursor. Uh, the mouse cursor you do not see whenever uh, the screensaver is playing and the gradient background in the video is probably striated with lines uh, but what I'm looking at on my screen is actually a smooth even uh, quite attractive uh, gradient pattern and as you can see the the, the uh, video is uh, moving around on the screen and it's gently bouncing off of the edges as the uh, gradient changes. You can also change the duration of the uh, gradient. You can strike the space bar or click on the screen or anything to get the uh, screensaver to end if you if you wish to do so. Now when you're creating a playlist uh, in Windows 7 uh, probably the best place to look with this dialog is to double click on users and whatever your default uh, admin name is or whatever your login name is you would double click on that and you could scroll down to wherever you keep your videos uh, we got video we have videos in here and let's say we wanted to start clean we would say we'd click this button clear all files and all these videos will disappear now if you wanted to add literally all of these videos into this playlist area down here you would say add all files and it would add all of these videos to um, the, the playlist. Once you click the save playlist and configuration it will uh, save those files to a, a, a uh, an initialization file and it will play them either in random order or in order of selection. It will also uh, allow you to choose a second disk if you have. I have two hard drives in this computer and you can uh, find different different videos that you may have in there. Uh, you go to Turner Falls and you can add those files and they'll actually end up down here on the bottom and if you want to delete them or if you want to add them one at a time you can uh, go back up to say ducks and geese and if you click on say Centennial Park Duck 2 it will add it to the bottom and then uh, let's say uh, Goose and Turtle and then it will add it down here too. Um, if you want to get rid of them all you have to do 
is click on them. Each one that you click on down here will remove from the playlist and if you click on them up here it will add them. So for instance if I click you know duck to video you know three or four times it'll add it three or four times. Okay now we're going to choose to play multiple media files and we're going to create or modify the playlist and uh, we have several videos in here and um, when you have a, a lot of videos doesn't matter really how many you have you can either play them in order of selection or in a random order um, if you choose in random order and then you save the playlist and the configuration every time the screensaver plays it will actually show a uh, random video. The only thing it won't do is it won't repeat it two times in a row. Uh, there's some, there's a duck floating around on the water. I'm going to trip it. And I'm going to preview it again. It's going to choose another video at random. I'm going to trip the screensaver and preview it again and as you can see it's chosen another video trip out of it again I'm going to go back to the settings and make it go full screen and um, I want to show you one more feature in here about the uh, in order of selection if you choose to play these videos in the order of selection when this video plays the first video after it finishes it moves to the bottom of this queue the next video will play and then after it finishes it will move to the bottom of the queue if the next three videos play and you trip the screensaver then they'll go to the bottom of the queue and the next time the screensaver starts it'll start with this video here so every time a video plays it goes to the bottom of the queue and then it just keeps starting over and over and over every time you do it. I'm going to save this and preview the screensaver and it should play a completely different video. There's a close-up of a duck in Centennial Park, Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's not Donald by the way. Trip out of the screensaver and in wrapping this up, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose a looping single media file and I'm going to drill to it and see if I can't find one of these videos. It's one of my favorite videos to end this one with. And this is called Twilight Paradise. It's a very nice video and we're going to preview it. Again, this is another one of the Screenscapes videos. It's uh, created by Point of View Concepts. Their website is www.screenscapes.tv. Uh, my website is uh, Ramshock Software. And our website URL is www.ramshock.com. That's R-A-M-S-H-O-C-K as it says on the screen. And we thank you for your time. We appreciate your business. We thank you for uh, giving our t software a test drive. Uh, we, we, if you do choose to register our software, we thank you in advance for doing so. We know that you could choose other screensavers, and uh, we think ours is the best, and we hope that you will agree. And thank you for your time, and have a good evening.